Welcome back to the channel everyone, Massey Art Studio here with another video. Um, hopefully you can hear us a little bit better, it's not quite so echoey in the studio because we just got new mics, so super excited to try these out. Um, as always, uh, Jeremy and I are going to try using the same colours but doing two different techniques. And um, similar to the open cut pour I did yesterday, I've in fact, never done this technique before, so we're definitely going to be learning this one together. Um, before I crack on, let me just show you the colours that we're using real quick. Jeremy and I are both Cancerians and we love blues and we were surprised we haven't done a blue paint just yet, so we're going to do one today. With Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. With Pearl Turquoise by Arteza. With Pearl Sea Green by Arteza. Give you a pearl theme going on. Prussian Blue, and Ultramarine, and finally, because we always love a bit of gold, some Deco Art Metallics Bright Metallic Paint. So um, I'm gonna do a dust pan pour of a sort. First things first, I'm gonna flood the whole canvas, because I'm only gonna do the pour in the middle, um, which you'll see shortly. I hope everyone's doing really well. It's still very hot here in California. We've got our heat wave raging on. So we're stood in the studio with a fan on in the background because there's no such thing as AC in California. And I'm just tilting out this white first. I'll go in and fill the gaps in, in a second. If there are some, which I can see there are already. Thank you to everyone that has already gone and watched our very first video. The second one will be up very shortly. This is our third in our new series. Thank you for all the really wonderful comments. Um, it's kind of exciting that people are taking kind of time out of their busy days just to even write as a comment, never mind actually watch the video. So Jeremy and I are both like super excited about it and we're getting a little obsessed. Um, so we couldn't wait to get back into the studio to film some more content for you all. Okay, so I've got full coverage on the top. Now let's just make sure that all the sides are covered. Okay, so this is our second coat. And there's a chance that I'm going to go back over some spots with the white anyway. But, Joey, am I missing anything at the front? Uh, just very little bit right there on that corner. Thank you. Got it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, quick blur out with the white. Get rid of some of these air bubbles. We have to really mix up the flow troll. So, there's a ton of air bubbles in the paint. Right then, Jeremy, would you pass us the kitchen more, please? So the next thing I'm gonna do is, is layer up my cup, similar to the way that Jeremy did in his very first video. Um, trying to get as many layers into the paint as possible, into the cup as possible. Um, so I'm just gonna start with a, a little bit of white in the bottom of the pot, just to help the other colours flow. And I'm gonna kinda go a little bit light to dark, light to dark. I'll try and do this for you all so that you can see it. Um, I don't have a ton of paint in the pot, but I'm okay with that because I actually don't want to put a lot of paint into the pan because I'm only gonna go across the middle of the canvas and then stretch it out a little bit. So we're gonna see how this goes. Like I said, this is the very first time. So you'll be all witness to a potential scrape if necessary, which is a you 
to the lovely dustpan. So um, Sarah Mack is an absolute expert at doing this technique. Um, so I'm definitely trying to emulate her process. Um, she uses a huge pan. This is something that we just got off Amazon. It was like 10 bucks. It's the first time we're using it, as you can see. Um, but I'm gonna give this a go and see what happens. Put a little bit of the white paint on first. And then I'm gonna pour from the opposite side that I layered the paint. as much of this on the pan as possible. It's a good to buy absolutely of gold because there's a lot of it in this pour. Now you've got choices here. You can either just pour straight from this pan or I have seen other fabulous artists kind of manipulate the paint in the pan as well. You know, like take a box of skull stick and kind of, you know, get some lines in it. Um, going back to the control freak in me, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to pour. Now my plan is to do a stripe down the middle and then stretch it out um, and maybe manipulate and play with it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's see how this works. Looking at this, what I really love is this right hand side. Um, I love the stripes of the gold and the blue. I don't love this side quite so much, so I'm totally happy to roll the paint off a little bit this way and stretch it out. just a little. I don't like this kind of the white just here so I'll just take this off but I think for the most part I'm happy with it. What do you think Jerry? Yeah it's cool. I think for your first dustpan pour I think it came out really well. Right I mean you can use the dustpan to do a million different techniques. I could have if I really wanted to use the pan to like get paint the whole way across the canvas. I kind of wanted just some interest in the middle. So that's the reason why I did it. All right, so finally just to scrape the bottom with a popsicle stick so that no more of the paint gets dragged off. And just then to quickly torch it also. This side over here needs to be. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, did we get it? Yep. And I will tidy that up as well. Um, all right, people, that's it. Oh, it was just a quick torch. Um, and what we haven't been doing, which we totally will, is bringing you in for a close-up so that you can hopefully see some of the really awesome paints. Get some more cells into the middle of it. All right, that's it, I'm done. All right, thank you all. Jeremy will be up shortly.
Hey guys, it's Jeremy. Um, this is the second part of our video where I'm going to do a double cup pour and you'll see what I mean by that. I've already flooded my canvas because you've seen Lee flood his canvas so I won't bore you with that. Um, but I'm going to uh, torch my canvas real quick and then I'm gonna start mixing my paints and then we'll get started. All right, that seems good enough. Now, time for the paints. Hey guys, so I'm back from mixing my paints. And as you can see, I poured them all in a cup. I got two cups here. Um, with the different colors layered, pretty much like Lee did. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the pour on both, like the two sides, and then I'm gonna stretch it out. So let's see how it works. I just love these colors. You need a lot of oil. Normally. Yes. I love looking inside the cup, it's so cool. That gold is really standing out. Yeah, gold like does tend to overtake a lot, but I don't think you need too much of it. Already gone over the edge. Right. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and start to stretch it. All right, I am really excited about this. Uh, I think it went really well. I am just going to, I love all this and the cells through here and all this area. I think it came out really well. It's on the side. It's a good thing about art. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get the bubbles out. And I think that's it, guys. I think we are I think 
think we are done with this one. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about it. I got my corners here that need some touching up. How's that one? Good? No, you need to do that. Yeah? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Perfect. And that one behind. And then here. Yeah. yeah. Well, here. That's it. Yeah, perfect. All right. Now I just got to get the bottom here. Like I said, I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this one. And if you stick around, we will show you the paintings we did in our last video. And yes. then I'll dry. Yes. So let me put this one away and we will get those paintings to show you that we did the other day. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yes. No, it's not off. <laughs> Well, that's it. Another video done, another two pours on the rack drying. What do you think of yours this time? Oh my gosh, I, I love mine, the one that I did. You don't love mine? You know what? <laughs> don't give me that. <laughs> um, I am happy that we tried something different. Yes. It was very stressful doing it on camera, but I, I'm glad that we did it. Um, we're gonna do a new segment in a couple of weeks, another few more videos under our belt first, called who did it better? Not because I'm competitive at all in any shape. No, way or not form. at all. Not, not at, at all. all. But what we thought we would do is try and do two similar techniques and then ask you guys, not who did it better, but which one out of the two pictures you prefer. Yes. Because we know you are not shy at coming forward with comments. So stay tuned for that. Something we'll be doing soon. Let me show you first off the painting that I did in the last video. And if you remember, this one was purples and oranges, some silvers and some greens. And I did the open cup traveling pour. I really love this. Um, it's super unusual for me to get such massive cells, but for whatever reason, the way we layered the paint in that open, open cup technique just gave us really awesome cells. And because of all of the silver and the shimmery pearl of Tesla paints, it really shines. I'm definitely calling this one dragon skin, because to me it just looks like the scales of a dragon. Um, so yeah, I love it. Three to four weeks it'll dry, then we'll put some resin on it, and then it will be on the, the Etsy store. All right, now mine, which I'm going to just, which I think should go this way. Oops. Is this one. Hmm. Using the same colors, but doing the Dutch pour with uh, using the blow dryer. Uh, as you can see, all the different colors here, the purples and the green and the silvers and the orange. The orange really stood out to me. I really love it. It's your favorite color, right? It is. Orange is my favorite color. Yes, you want it. Orange is the new black, right? But this is how it is. <laughs> I love that one too. Yeah, this is great. You've definitely overtaken me in the whole Dutch pour technique because it used to be my thing and now you're just producing these awesome pieces too. Thanks so, for that. Let us know what you think about our paintings, guys. And like you said, in a, in a couple of weeks, they'll be dry, we can resin them, and then we'll put them up on our Etsy page.
right? Yeah, right. Okay, that's it team. Guys, thank you for watching. Again, if you got this far, we appreciate you. Um, check out all the links in the bottom of the video for all the amazing artists. Yes. And we will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.